Thank you for the five dollars. Shall we? Not interested in that. One fifty-five or not? Would you rather be extremely durable with medium KO power, or have higher KO power with slightly pro? I'm going to have higher KO power. Below average durability. I know. Yeah, I'm going to go higher KO power. <laughs> Because your win percentage will probably balance out around the same. So you basically either be Marvin Vittori or... Michael Chandler. Right? But at least your wins are going to be impressive looking. You probably have a better career from that and be more likely to make bonus money. When you have time later... Yeah, I'll look it up maybe. Thank you for the $2. Yeah, someone did ask that yesterday as well. It seems to be daily occurrence that we get this question. <whistles> yeah, I'd rather be Marvin, but that's because he's way bigger than Chandler. You know, you can't have a direct comparison. Like, let's put it this way. Vittori has crazy durability, but not that much power. Cannoneer's got power, but he doesn't have as much durability. Look what happened between them. Impression of Volk after losing to Roxanne Modafferi. Um, it, typically, the guy who's more comfortable is going to take a shot better. And typically, the guy who has the power is going to lead the dance and be a bit more comfortable. So it's going to balance it out a bit better for the uh, guy with more power. Uh, Keiichi versus Moicano. I think Moicano would beat him. Chat that take. But that's the one top contender I think Moicano would beat. But um, no, I don't think that makes sense. I, I like the build-up that we've had for Moicano versus Pimlet. I think you do... You know, we see Moicano, if he gets past Benoit Saint-Denis, he does. We try and get Pimlet on a card soon against, um, what's his name? We try and get Pimlet on a card versus Dariush. I think that's a winnable fight for him. They both get into the top 10. They both do tough. They fight each other. Winner gets a title elimination bout in a super fight at the top of the division for a title shot. I think that makes all the sense. Connor wasn't the same after Habib. No, it wasn't Habib that changed him. It was the uh, the inactivity after the Alvarez fight and the stardom. Really, it wasn't. Habib didn't change him in any way. He looked good against Habib, but Habib didn't make him bad. You know what I mean? Dan versus Justin would be an easy fight of the year contender. It would be. Thank you for the $2. It would be a great fight. Amazing. Just how good is Edgar? I don't know who it is. The word on Connor versus Chandler. Um, the word is that it's cancelled and Oliveira is now fighting Chandler at UFC 309 MSG. Thank you for the two dollars. Eh, eh. And you want to know why Oliveira's taking it, dude? Because he's a genius. Okay, let me tell you why. Oliveira is one of the rare fighters in the UFC. Hear me out. Why is Oliveira taking it? Why does Oliveira take it? Oliveira is one of the few fighters in the UFC that has a non-championship pay-per-view share contract. He's getting on the John Jones final card. If he beats Chandler, he's going to steal the McGregor fight. Non-championship pay-per-view shares for Oliveira. He's running to the bank, dude. Oliveira's taking it to the bank before the end of his career. How do you know that? Because Dana White said he would get pay-per-view shares for his fight with Gaethje, even though the belt was not on the line and he wasn't a champion. That He wasn't a champion at the time. He went to a contender contract and still got pay-per-view shares. <laughs> Let's go, Olives! When are you going to leak what ramp? Charles Oliveira, show me the money, my brother. Show me the money, my brother. Show me the money. Huh? Show me the money. People don't realize how big Charles is in Brazil. He's massive in Brazil. He is. If Charles loses, I'm not going to watch the sport. True. Thank you for the $2. I can't stand Chandler in the spotlight. I want him gone. Okay, that's what I want. Who does Conor fight next? I think Conor McGregor could fight Justin Gaethje or Oliveira if he wins. Guru mate, join me spaces, mate. No, no, he hasn't messaged me recently, so now I want him to. I'm sick and tired of him acting like he's not friends with me. Now they're going to do Connor versus Paddy. Mm, no, that Connor versus Charles is going to be. I hope that's what happens at the end of all of this. Oliveira smokes Chandler early 2025. McGregor versus Oliveira. Oh, that's what I want. 
Thank you for the 80 pence. Love you, Guru. Hope you're doing well. I can't stop laughing that Chandler waited two whole years until he's almost 39 just to come back to Oliveira. I know. What an absolute embarrassment. But it's a good matchup. Like, he's still up the rankings for him. You know? So that's pretty decent. But if he loses, he loses everything. And it's the end. You know what I mean? Which is the gamble that he's taken. Which he probably will lose, I reckon. Just want to say... uh. I don't like, like, honestly, yeah, if McGregor Chandler happened, I'm not fucking hyped for it at all. Anyone else? Like, I don't care if McGregor could get a win. If they eventually did a McGregor versus Chandler fight, I would not give a fuck. Like, I genuinely wouldn't care. I hate Chandler. I don't want him being uh, viewed by the youth. He's a negative influence on the young people in the country, and I don't want him in the spotlight, ever. I want Oliveira to smoke him dead. And then Oliveira versus McGregor would get me fucking hyped. Because then at least Oliveira gets some reward from it. You think Charles ever fights for the belt again? Uh, maybe, yeah. If he if he goes through, uh, you know, Chandler, then McGregor, then yeah. But I, I mean, I don't think Makashev is going to continue much longer. Till is an NPC that only... Pro um, you reckon McGregor even fights again? I do, yeah. There's too much money for him not to fight again at this point, right? You get to a point in your career where now you're making big bucks to fight. Like, McGregor's, what? You'd probably make, what? What do you think McGregor would fight, make if he fights again, chat? Pay-per-views included. 30 million. UFC pay. You've got to consider UFC pay. He could probably get a good 50 mil boxing pay there. I'd say 25 to 30 million would be my guess. That's too much money to just leave on the table, you know? I know he doesn't need to, but if he wants to run for Irish Prime Minister, do you know how big a quick, nice, tasty win would be for him? And even if he loses, you know how big an extra 30 million would be for him? If he really wants to run for leadership in Ireland, a tasty win just before he runs, that's, that's night and day for him, you know what I mean? So there is something on the line there for him a little bit. <laughs> McGregor Hooker, who is the best fight for Connor? Um, I reckon they could do a McGregor versus Gaethje. I reckon they could do a McGregor versus Oliveira if he does beat Chandler. I reckon they could do a McGregor versus Covington. I could see that out of nowhere. There are a few matchups I could see. Thank you for the 15 months of membership, Balau's Good Eye. Uh, um, yeah, that'd be cool. You think Ortega is too high of a jump for Lopez? But I just think we need something new, something fresh. A McGregor versus Volkanovski matchup. A McGregor versus Gaethje matchup. Or if Oliveira does beat Chandler, then a McGregor versus Oliveira matchup. Something fresh, dude. I'm not seeing these same matchups all over again. You think Ortega's too... McGregor couldn't beat anyone top 15 at the moment? I mean, there are some options. And Volkanovski as well. I'd put Volkanovski in the mix as well. At lightweight. Because the, the thing there for McGregor would be that he would beat every featherweight champion in history but Ilya. You know what I mean? And that would be another tip to him. I don't think McGregor's ever coming back at this point. Perhaps. Um, Apparently 2025, I don't know. In, in its heat, like, if they would have done it after Masvidal beat Diaz and they would have just done that, then come on. That would have been huge. But now I don't really give a fuck. Who should Gaethje fight? And what about Masvidal versus Connor at 170? Yeah, I just answered the Masvidal versus Connor thing, but uh, Gaethje could look to fight McGregor. I also would love to see Justin Gaethje versus Dan Hooker. It's a matchup that we haven't seen before in the lightweight division, and I think it's one that would be missed if we, if he, if we end Gaethje and Dan Hooker's career, and we don't see Gaethje versus Hooker. It'd be something where I was like, damn, we never actually got to see Justin Gaethje versus Dan Hooker. You know, what I mean, that would be a great great matchup um but yeah chandler built like alvarez and mendez was connor's only shot a win over someone relevant justin Martin. but justin is coming off that brutal ko loss and he was been golfing for a long time after that so if there was a time for mcgregor to to maybe get him it would be now but i doubt he would win against gaichi chandler built like alvarez and mendez yeah oh yeah yeah it could be uh a McGregor win, but, you know, we'll see. The next title shot, yeah, it's him versus Makashev in December. It's locked in. He says it is, so I think it might be. Chandler is virtue signaling soy boy, I know. Hilarious to watch him fumble it so bad. 
Um, Masvidal versus Connor would be ideal. Not now. It, had, it would have no hype whatsoever now. People would see it as a gimmick joke of a fight. Thank you for the 10 pounds. Um, he's not a soy boy. Chandler's like a Chad dude. Like he's like he's got a high tea, you know. I mean, he's yoked, good genes, but uh yeah, he's just a walk. And I hate what he represents. I want him out of the spotlight immediately. Thank you for the five dollars. Realistically, Connor would flash knockdown Justin Gaethje in 13 seconds on some crafty shoulder strike type shit. No, you wouldn't do a shoulder strike. But I think Gaethje is a winnable one for McGregor. I wouldn't pick him to win. I'd pick Gaethje to win, probably by KO after some nasty low kicks. But um, let's not act like Gaethje isn't incredibly open for like a sniper of a fighter. You know what I mean? What a stud you are. And a, any follow. Thank you very much for the $10, Johnny Wish. Chandler versus Colby Covington. Colby leaked. He's fighting in November. Chandler is fighting Oliveira. It's official. Thank you for the $10. Are you in the fucking loop, dude? It happened like 10 minutes. <coughs> they announced it. They announced it 10 minutes after they announced a McGregor versus Chandler was cancelled. They're doing Oliveira Chandler November co-main event. I hope they also do Covington Ian Gary, but something tells me they're not going to want to tarnish Jones's uh last press conference with a um with a Covington appearance. You know what I mean? Thank you for the ten dollars though, Johnny Wish. That'd be great though, right? Covington at uh John Jones presser, that'd be great. More appreciative to be in the UFC, Rosas or Hadley. 